a very wonderful morning to all my dear children well children i sakshi singh welcome you in english class so dear children this is the last module of the chapter non finites which we, which we are going to do that is gerunds i hope that the concept of finite and non finite and under non finite infinitive participles are clear to you all and if still if you have any doubt you are most welcome you can contact your teacher your concern teacher on his or her personal window now the next module of uh, the you can say the next or you can say it's the last module of this topic non finite that is gerund we are going to here we are so uh, although the term might sound foreign okay the gerund is a common parts of speech that most of us use every day whether we know it or not but we do here so we will take an in depth look at gerunds okay and i provide you with several examples of gerunds so you will feel comfortable using them in your writing and so that you will be able to recognize them when you see them and even when you speak them you know what like uh, you know in general english when we talk we use several non finite verbs but we are not aware of those verbs that that those verbs are non finite verb okay see whatever the verb would be there whether it is verbal adjective verbal noun okay but you just have to see that non finite verbs are not the main verb in the sentence and they will remain same whether you change the tense whether you change the number whatever the situation would be it will not be considered as a main verb in a sentence okay so gerunds are words you know that are formed with verbs but act as nouns just like participles these words if you talk about participles those words are also verbs but act as an adjectives so gerund usually defined as a word ending in ing that is formed from a verb and that function as a noun since every gerund is a verb with ing you know tagged to its tail okay so it will be very to recognize gerund because you know when uh, in every verb ing is tagged to its tail so there are no exceptions to this rule fine now like all things in grammar gerunds do take a tiny bit of you know detective work to spot oh my god detective work what detective work so the problem here is that present participles also end with the letters ing and gerunds also end with the ing so we will proceed further so we all know that to form gerunds use the base form plus ing don't forget the rules for spelling of that is ing form of verbs a gerund can be the subject of a sentence it is always singular subject is something that is being discussed like how how to find the subject means like you know the basic structure of a sentence is what subject verb and object and how you are going to identify any subject by asking what word is the sentence tell something means you know like if i am saying that uh, i write a letter okay so i write a letter here if you have to find out the subject so means that who is the performer of the action who is writing a letter okay means i so i is a subject so the same way you are going to identify the same way you are going to identify the gerund also how let's see choosing a candidate takes time choosing a candidate takes time for what that is subject wind surfing is very exciting you know when wins we are talking about generally the subject is what that we talk about and here what are we talking about we are talking about choosing a candidate so candidate can't be gerund because it has to be ing first form fine ing in the first uh, instance you will have to see that whether it there you know it's that uh, at the end of the verb there is a ing form wind surfing 
be excited because we are talking about windsurfing traveling might satisfy your desire for new experiences subject again traveling so these choosing windsurfing traveling are the gerunds now she is reading a book now here this is continuous tense fine and reading is what that is finite verb and action in progress but if we take if we talk about reading and if we want to put reading as a if you want to put reading as a subject then you can see the next sentence reading improves your knowledge so reading here is what we are talking about so reading is what subject verb it's here ing it's here so it is what gerund so the ing form of a verb that denotes an action and behaves like a noun is known as a gerund it is a non finite verb that acts as a noun and as a verb hence it is often referred to as a verbal noun just like a participles which refer to as a verbal adjectives okay so uh, like i'll give you more examples like you can say swimming in the ocean has been sharon's passion since she was 5 years old so what i'm talking i'm not talking about sharon's i'm talking about sharon's passion and what is a sharon's passion that we are talking about swimming okay so next we are going hiking next month so here we are talking about hiking okay so are going is finite and hiking is what that is non finite and that is also gerund that is verb ing form okay and it act as a noun swimming in the summer is very refreshing this is what finite verb swimming is non finite verb again swim is verb ing tailed you know uh, ing is there tucked to its tail so that is gerund john looked for his swimming trunks everywhere again looked finite verb because it is simple past swimming it doesn't change it will remain same so it is non finite arguing solves nothing the arguing couple kept the neighbors awake now see arguing solves nothing solves here what finite verb because we are talking about we are talking about what we are talking about non finite verb here and it's a verb and ing and it's a, as a subject verb form acts like a noun so it is gerund now the arguing couple kept the neighbors awake here also arguing is what non finite but here it is like an adjective so just now you know i told you that ing form like present participle is also ing form gerund is also ing form so how are you going to recognize that which ing acts like a noun and which ing acts like an adjective very clear when in a sentence this like arguing i'm saying when in a sentence you are talking about that particular ing it it acts as a subject it is gerund and when any ing form means like it's like you can say tucked to its tail any word to any verb like arguing if it is telling something about noun okay couple is a noun and it is telling about arguing couple mean it is indirectly characterizing the couple okay so it is what act like a adjective that is present participle so see if i am saying that i saw a dancing peacock so i saw a dancing peacock means there was a peacock okay and it was and it was dancing so here dancing is telling about peacock so it is non finite verb but it is present participle dancing is my favorite hobby here i am talking about dancing as a subject so that is it is gerund now see we were debating on the next course of action debating is an art out of this sentence we were debating on the next course of action and debating is an art so see if you talk about the debating in both the sentence so first in the first sentence it is like what finite verb because it is according to the it is continuous tense and the next i am talking about debating is an art that is as a subject i am talking about the ing form of a verb that denotes an action and behaves like a noun you all know that that is gerund 
and non finite verb which acts both as a verb also and as a noun noun also that is verbal noun now difference between participle and gerund here i have few examples for you just to for the comparison that it will be easy for you to understand the difference between present participle and gerund see i saw him sitting there i saw him sitting there i am talking about him the verb is sitting ing but it is telling about him so it is present participle sitting idly is not in my habit so i am not talking about any person who is sitting idly i am just uh, i am just talking about in a very generic sense that sitting idly is not in my habit so it is gerund they had broken up their marriage so broken breaking up is easy but putting together is not that spinning chair playing for this team is an honor again playing for this team is an honor i will be sleeping at this time tomorrow sleeping at this hour of the day is not good for health so you would be pretty clear you did uh, that in what form okay that the participles have been used and the gerunds have been used so now i have few you know features of gerund swimming is fun wow so it's like a noun it is used as a subject i'm tired of complaining you know whenever any ing form is followed by any preposition okay any preposition and it comes at the last it's always gerund okay if it is like just before any ing form and it is non finite verb if we have any preposition so it is used as an object of preposition and it is always considered as a gerund like i am fond of eating chocolates so fond of eating chocolate so eating is what here gerund deep breathing helps me to calm down again it's like a noun it can be modified by adjectives also deep what that is breathing fine sally believes in telling the truth like a verb it may take an object also okay it can be subject it can be an object also my favorite my cat's favorite pastime is sleeping and can be as a complement you know all the non finite verb whether it is infinitive participles or you can say uh, gerunds can be act as a subject as an object as a complement eating quickly will give you indigestion like a verb it can be modified by an adverb also quickly quickly eat, eating what it is modifying adverb also okay so uh, i hope that it's pretty clear to you all so uh, like if you i can uh, tell you few more examples like you can say uh, i delayed telling cherry the bad news let's go dancing at the club tonight okay. see whatever ing and if it is verb and if we are talking about it it act as a subject and it's a verbal noun okay so here are the exercises <clears throat> like g identify the highlighted word as participles or gerunds in these sentences first i would request that you do it by yourself okay and then you can match your answers here then again circle the correct answers and then it's their i and j so j you will have to do it by yourself and you can after doing it you can send it to your teacher okay so my dear students i hope that you like this video and i request you please listen to this video very carefully and still if you have any doubt you are most welcome till then take care everyone bye bye stay blessed stay healthy